Hello everybody and welcome to a video where today I am um, in my office, as you know. Um, we went shopping actually because we'd, we had to get a few things. We actually ended up getting that for me, a little fan. But also what was quite cool was um, we actually got this um, cause we basically bought two things off Amazon and they just came a day in the mail. A couple of hours ago, um, using my LG burner, I finished installing Nero. I think that's cool. Yeah, I've got the whole entire Nero on my PC. Um, second thing is that this came in the mail. And you're thinking, what's this? Well, if you read it, it says external odd and hard drive device. Now, if you're thinking, oh, is that like what's on the Cockapa, Rio Das, and a lot of like, external DVD drives? Yeah. Um, I put the package downstairs because the package, of course, contains shipment and everything like or or actual um sorry about this just really itchy you know and basically yeah contained our um house info so I decided okay why not make this video because it's right here I think what's that now you see on my old computer I took it apart um a few weeks ago. Well, about a couple of months ago, and I got this out of it, the hard hard drive, the DVD rewritable drive. I'm thinking, oh, cool, and um, does it burn? You might ask. I'm not sure. That's what I would do. Because I have this, basically, thing. And if you can see there, there's SATA on it, and it's got these two cords. But I know, because I know I've seen some people's YouTube videos, they're like, that um of course the main data usb3 cable the one that of course goes from usb3 down to oh, that uh connector come on focus thinking oh yeah, yeah i've seen that yeah it's used on a lot of external hard drives and um enclosures for from amazon but not only that um yeah, I don't need to care about this wire here that's just used to power it. Because if your computer does have a good USB 3 or USB 3.1 port, which my computer's got two USB 3.1 ports available. So I was thinking, oh well, I'll just use this wire. So why not? And yeah, we've, we are going to make my laptop's DVD drive external. But it didn't work in my laptop, so I don't know if it's actually going to work here. Yeah. So let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and slot my drive in here. Um, what I want to do quickly is, is I'm going to grab my phone case right here, which is from Coolio, if that's what you're wondering. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get this. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just going to position it here so you guys can see. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the whole entire process. So look. See, as you can see, I am slotting my DVD rewritable drive in. Now, I'm just going to check it's in fully. I think it's in fully. Next thing to do is grab our faceplate. Now, you might notice when you look at the faceplate, you're thinking, there's no eject button. Oh, no. Yeah, there is actually no eject button. However, if you look at that corner, there's an eject button. But um, I can just use Windows to eject it, so... And that was just my doors, just because there's wind in between the the other door, which is next to it for the boilers. But anyway, I'm just I'm just gonna just bear with me because I need to hang on. So you can see right here I've got the face plate, I would just popped it in. And there we go. I have built myself a external drive. I think cool. So now I um, as you can see there's some connections on the back of the drive, you've got the power yeah the reason why it's got that other power is is just in case of the computer might not have enough voltage but that other port is only being used online so let me just quickly there we go bear with me there and now i'm going to carry the camera down up my room ah so i'm just gonna grab this because I'm, I'm filming Sorry about that, guys. It's just um, I've been called because of because of tea being on soon. Anyway, 
Um, we've got my Morgs DVD because I actually made a DVD of Morgs. And I am here. And you can see it here. Here is my desktop in all its glory. And here is the DVD drive in all its glory. Um, I remember when it used to really actually work on my laptop because it, it didn't even try spinning discs because apparently the disc was wedged. Like, so I don't know. So I'm just going to get the cable into my PC. Um, you might not be able to see this very well. But... Hang on a minute. I just need to cut ahead. I'm just getting it in. And my computer the drive there says DVD or W drive. So I know my computer is a slim type. My old computer had a slim type DVD rewritable. So yeah, I actually broke my Lenovo mouse, so I had to get that mouse. Um, format. I don't need to format that drive. Cause look, that's because it's got Windows on it. Anyways, I just need to click on the properties. I've got hardware, it should say. There we go. That's exactly what my laptop called it. So I'm just going to press eject at the top. <gasps> it actually works! No way! I'm actually going to see if I can actually play a DVD first. So yeah, there is the drive. So if I grab my Morgs collection, I'm going to grab just disc 3. I'm just going to grab disc 3 out of... It's actually working, unlike when it was in my laptop. It just sounds just like it too. So right there, let's see, so the DVD 3, 2.5 gigabytes. New choices for DVDs because I can apparently play it on Nero, so that's cool. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick to VLC player. I be I burn the discs so there will be no copyright. So there will be no copyright morgues understood. Because it's my disc. Second. God. So yeah. Um I just love that okay boomer sort of thing. So I'm gonna click on continue. One week ago we went back to school. Now we're in detention. Now, I didn't want to get any copyright, so yeah, goodbye. That was me making an external drive.